Hi everyone, this is Simon from the Storytelling with Data team and today we are going to look at how we can create this visual by adding some of the graph content directly into our cells. This will help enhance our visual and also create some additional context for our audience. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please do check out our other videos where we share many more tips, tricks, tutorials and makeovers. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, let's just take a second to familiarize ourselves with this graph. Uh, and it's based on a survey where the question was around development priorities and what was considered the most important development priorities. Uh, you can see the graph here has the top 15 of those priorities and we've got a stacked bar which shows the most important, second most and third most based on that uh, category, based on that priority. Uh, we ranked them by the total of those three stacks, as you can see here, the top three being education, agriculture and rural development and poverty reduction being the top three development priorities. Uh, we've called out the top three by using uh, the blue for the category labels and also the blue bars there for the stacks. And this is where we begin to get a couple of the questions that come up regularly. How have you managed to change those category labels, those top three category labels into the blue color? Uh, and also how have you managed to get the total onto that chart as well? And the answer to both of those questions is actually the same in that the total and those top three uh, elements along with the rest of the priorities aren't actually part of the graph itself. They're directly uh, entered into the cells or cells alongside the graph. So we have two elements here, the graph and the cells. And we'll walk through now how to create both of those, starting off with the graph. Okay, here's our data table. So we're gonna make our stacked bar very quickly. So we'll just select our data and then we go to insert, pick our chart of choice, in this case, our horizontal stacked bar and insert that there. We'll just put that over the top of our data table. Okay, so a few little bits of cleanup we'll do initially. I'm going to firstly reorder our axis. That gets our axis uh, title, axis labels to the top, and also orders it in the way that we'd like to see it. I'm going to, at the same time, just format our categories as well to make them slightly bigger and have them in a consistent font. I'll do the same with our other axis. Okay, I'm going to give our chart a title. Very important there, so let's select that. And for consistency, I'm going to give it the same font, just a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm gonna move our legend up to the top and I'm going to remove our grid lines. Okay, now I'm gonna just change the colors of these series. So initially the most important series, I'm going to give that a dark gray color, giving that the biggest weight there of the gray, and then going to a middle gray for the second most important, and finally a lighter gray. And final step, I'm just gonna make those bars ever so slightly thicker. Okay, that's looking a lot better already. And um, now if we refer back to our first example, our final example, we highlighted the top three priorities. So let's do that now. And for that, we're just going to change the series colors for those top three. So it's a little bit fiddly, uh, but it doesn't take too long if you go through it all in one stage. So darker blue, being our most important, and in the same way we did with our greys, just going down the intensity ever so slightly as we go down the importance. Finishing off with our lighter blue. Okay, so there we go, there's our graph and quite a big difference from the uh, initial output that Excel gave us. But it's at this point we begin to struggle with anything more. For example, we can't label or we can't format the top three categories in any different way to the others. And we can't add 
extra elements to this graph. We can't put a total on uh, having created this stacked bar chart. And that's where now we can leverage our cells. So let's now turn our attention to the cell element of this particular visual. Okay, here's our cell elements. And as you can see, I've turned the grid lines on here. Uh, to make it easier, to make it clearer, uh, to see what the layout actually looks like. But let me just walk you through it uh, step by step. So we have our merge cell here across yeah, many different columns with our chart title. The next row down, we have our category labels. We then have our total label as well, our total heading, and then our axis labels or the stacked categories and how they're laid out. So most important, second and third. We then have our list of priorities and the total of those priorities. And as you can see here, what we've done, we've been able to color in, because they're just in cells, we've been easily able to color in those top three using the same uh, blue color that we used for our stacked bars. Same thing for the total and then going to the gray for the other priorities. We've added a nice footnote here in, again, in a merge cell across uh, the whole of the visual here, the column spans that we have. And we've given a couple of borders just to add that nice framing. And then finally, we just turn our grid lines off. There we go. So that now is the cell elements of this particular visual. Now we just need to combine the two together. Okay, so here is our final chart. As you can see, I've done a bit of housekeeping on this. I've removed our chart title, our axis, labels, uh, also the category labels as well, because of course they are within our cells. So we just need to combine the actual chart itself. So to do that, we just copy it over. So let's copy and paste in here and just move it to where we want it. So I've got to be a bit careful here with the lining up, make sure it's lined up to where we want it. So just a bit of adjustment needed there. That looks pretty good. Let's move it down a little bit. That looks that looks nice. So there we have it. We have combined our two elements, our graph element together with the information we want directly into our cells to create uh, a really powerful visual that highlights the key areas, the key takeaways to our audience. So there are a couple of considerations when making this type of visual. You want to make sure that you have everything lined up nicely as we just showed there. It's a little bit fiddly uh, to get everything in the right uh, right alignment. So you might need to play around with your row heights. You might need to change the size of the graph. Also, just bear in mind that the data in the cells is obviously not directly linked to the data that drove the graph. So if you're updating either of those, you might get some misalignment of ordering. So just consider that as well. But if you're looking for a little bit more control, a little bit more flexibility, then this can be a really good approach to follow. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Please be sure to like it if you found it useful and drop a comment uh, below if there's any other graphs you've seen uh, on Storytelling with Data that you'd like us to walk through how we've made. Until then, and for now, goodbye.